In a display of community spirit and generosity, over 900 people gathered at a local church for a backpack giveaway event. News 9's Hannah Hayes reports on the need and how it was met. The New Day Church in Fallensby hosted its Good News Fest Brook County for over 900 families in the community. With the help of Zaner Ministries, the event provided 200 people, including children, with backpacks full of hygiene items to ensure they are prepared for the upcoming academic year. You know, our whole purpose of doing this is to help them meet the needs of the people. And the people not only need help spiritually, they need help physically, mentally, emotionally. They need somebody to tell them that there is good news in a world full of bad news. And so that's what we want to do. The giveaway was open to the public, but many people pre-registered. While it provided material support, it was also an opportunity for people to connect with one another and the church community through activities, food, and refreshments. We meet people's needs, and in meeting their needs, we get the opportunity to speak to their spirit and, and tell them about Jesus. And so this is why we live. Makes me happy. Volunteer Christy Johnson explained that after the Coke plant shut down, outreach has become a larger community need. It makes me feel such joy that the church is actually worried about the kids in our community and how they, it doesn't take much for a bar of soap and a, something that seems so easy to come by is a lot for a lot of people. Some of the children in attendance were just as joyful to receive the items as they were to spend time together in a safe, supportive environment. They spent time taking part in a dance battle, singing gospel, and playing with friends. It's great being here. I had so much fun that I got too crazy. At the end of the event, individuals were chosen at random to win items like a TV, Nintendo Switch, a Keurig, and more. The church hopes to host this event annually. Reporting in Brook County, I'm Hannah Hayes, News 9.